Welcome again to our flower side chat. This is now our fourth one. So glad to have you with us. You can see our beautiful and brilliant red bud tree. We look out upon this from our kitchen and this is the time of the year. It's just, it's just gorgeous and sharing that with you. Um, as we think about a theme for our fourth flower side chat, I'd really like to focus back on something we talked about earlier, and that is the importance of the Christian mind and our thinking in how we grow in sanctification. So we're going to choose for our theme this time, meditation, biblical meditation. What is biblical meditation and how does it differ from Eastern meditation? You know, in the East, they focus on breathing and relaxation and some mantra almost emptying the mind of all concerns, but biblical meditation is filling the mind with biblical truth that brings you the uh, supernatural peace of God. Here we are back up on my deck and you can see here we have a moss phlox, purple one. It just kind of spills over the edge here and it's going to actually get uh, fuller in its bloom soon, but I thought I'd share this with you. We think about biblical meditation um, I sort of came up with an acronym, the word MUSE, M-U-S-E, to muse and think about things. It starts with the letter M, and this is easy for you to remember, because the M stands for memorize. Memorize a verse of the Bible. Go to the Bible and think through what it is you really want to be thinking about. It might be one of the attributes of God, His love or His kindness. It may be the assurance of your salvation, or you may want more peace in your life, or more joy in your life, or you want to treat other people better. And so you choose what we call a bullseye verse, or a jugular verse, one that just nails it on the head in terms of what you need to learn. Memorize that verse. Work on it over and over again. When you memorize scripture, it's like you own that scripture for yourself. It becomes like your Bible verse. And when you memorize it, it's now in your mind and in your head. And that's not the whole of meditation, but that's the beginning of it. Choosing very carefully a verse that pertains to something you want to learn more about and that will help you. Sue is showing us behind there, neighbor's dogwood, sort of a salmon colored or pink colored one. It's very beautiful. We come in our meditations to the second letter with muse, first we memorize, secondly we understand. The U is for understanding. Scripture means something and that's what we need to be thinking on. So that means you need to take time to understand the verse that you've memorized. Read before the verse starts and after the verse. Uh, read a commentary if you need to. Talk to somebody that understands that passage well and understand it to make sure you're interpreting it properly so that your thoughts can truly be God's thoughts. The third letter in muse is S and it stands for speaking. Speak the truth of God's word to yourself. We're looking at a bleeding heart here with its beautiful um, heart-shaped uh, flowers. It's just gorgeous. It's um, something we like to come and look at. And um, speak the word of God to yourself in your situation. When you're being tempted, now you have the understanding of the verse, use it. Speaking the word of God to yourself is very important. You try to say it to yourself to help yourself in a situation of temptation like Joshua and like the godly man in Psalm 1. To meditate on the Word of God literally means to mutter it to yourself. Apply it to yourself. That's where the power of meditation comes. You've memorized it. You understand it. Now you're using it and speaking it to yourself whether it's joy or peace or assurance of salvation, anger, whatever it is that your need is to counteract with the Word of God. You speak it to yourself. It's a sermon to yourself. Well, this is obviously not our front yard or our backyard. We went down the road near the Howard County Fairgrounds. It's not goldenrod we thought it was. It's some other plant. I'll have to look it up. Um, but the last letter in our discussion of meditation in M-U-S-E, Muse, is experience. Here's where we've memorized the Word of God. We've understood it. We've spoken it to ourselves. And now we get to where we want to with our meditations, and that is to experience the power of God, the power of God's Word in our life, so that we, we see the vastness of God, and He gives us peace, He gives us joy. Whatever we targeted to be the area that we memorize, now we're actually experiencing God and His Word in our life, and that's where we want to be. I'm glad that you've joined us here for our fourth chat, Flowerside Chat. 
and uh, pray God will continue to use it in your lives. And God willing, we'll be back here uh, next week with our, our next flower side chat.